Hello, audience! This is J. Joseph F. 2 with another exciting episode of... Space Engineers! Hello, Observers, and welcome back to Space Engineers. As you know, today is Thursday, which, because the amazing devs are always on time with their releases, I have some new updates to show you. So, let me just head on out of my blue cockpit here, and through the wreckage of my blue ship. Now, I'm... Now, I'm trying to get to the main base, but... Oh, there we go. The fighter did not survive. Okay, I'll just fly over there. I thought it survived because I was flying around earlier. All right. So, new things they've added. Ooh, this is brilliant. Oh, whoa. Well, what is up with this wonky gravity field? Oh, this, this needs to go. This needs to go. Luckily for us, there's a ship over here since we're denied access to that cockpit. Not really. But I want to use the ship anyways. We're going to go ahead and power it on. And with one of the new features, including remote control for ships and stations, which platform right here. We're going to go ahead and toggle the, the stupid gravity. Thank you very much, past me, for creating stupid gravity. It's great. All right. So now we're back to normal. And that is a perfect example of this ship not being connected to the station, but editing things that are going on with the station. Yes, I just shot the gravity generator. I, I meant to point at it. But <laughs> So... Another thing that the devs added, which, God, this is what I've been waiting for for so long, and it makes me so happy to finally see these buttons. So all I have to do is go like this, and it activates the grinders, and it goes like this, and it moves the pistons to slowly eat the small fighter. <laughs> and I forget what this does. Oh, it makes the pistons go away, just in case I, I did not... Oh, <laughs> it's eating itself! It's gone cannibalistic. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put that back to where it was. Look at all this touch of the buttons. Like, you don't have to go into the menu and toggle and do this stuff anymore. Just press a button. Or you don't have to be in a cockpit and press a button on your hotbar. You literally just click T to press a button. Which you could, like, wire this up to practically anything. And it'd be amazing. It's for large and small ships and... Yeah. Even though this is a relatively small update. Oh, not small update. Like, this is going to be a relatively short video. Oh, I just lost my right headphone. It, my headphones are broken. No, why? Okay. Um, anyways, like I was saying, this is... They added a few features, and this is one of my favorite things. I've been waiting for this forever. I love it. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, also, what they did is they fixed perform... I... I guess they heard me complaining about it like a day ago and I went and logged into that same world where I'd have the extreme asteroids and everything and the performance is back up to normal it's 60 plus FPS and it was brilliant so thank you so much for watching this is obviously a short video because there's not so much I want to I have to show you this is I saw it and I'm like oh my god must make videos so people can share in the awesomeness and uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'd like to... Let me see if this thing's still flyable first. <laughs> then I'm just gonna, like... S oh, it still flies. These these grinders suck. They didn't do their job. Let's add some... Yeah! Alright. With that, I'd like to bid you all adieu. And a good day. And happy engineering!